I was going to use these two crankshafts, but one's a Mopar. This is a Mopar 383 steel crank. This is a Chevrolet. So I was going to kind of compare apples with apples. Uh, so if I'm going Mopar to Chevrolet, then, you know, people are going, well, that's a Chevy crank. Maybe it's different. So let's not go there. So we're going to go. This is, a, this is a steel, forged steel crank for a Mopar. And if you look right here, you'll see this, what I call a knit line. A knit line is when the, the uh, materials come into a mold, they, they go into, they'll leave what they call a knit line, and that's where the two halves of the mold came together. And with a forged crank, because it started out as a solid block, it's going to have one knit line, and it's going to be fairly fat, okay? And when they hog the crank out of it, they're going to have a fatter, I, I cleaned it up a little bit so it'd be easier to see, but it's going to have this, you know, half inch wide knit line, if you will, okay, and if you go up here, you can see it up in here, too. Now, a lot of times, it's only on this top journal, because this one's not, the knit line's not there. The knit line's going to follow all the way down this center line, and these are cut, so they're not going to show up, but this is actually part of the original casting, so uh, that's going to show. That's usually how you can tell on that, and just for quickie over here, you'll see a skinny one, but that's a Chevrolet, so let's go ahead and walk over and compare it to another Mopar crank. All right, this is a 400 crankshaft. Now the other one's 383. 383 and a 400 is basically the same size block. It's not a raised block. Uh, and I have another 383 crank back there, but that's a, that's a forged as well, so that's not going to help. But this is, you can basically see this skinny line. See this knit line? How skinny it is? It's just like a little line, really, basically. And that's where the two halves came together, and it's really, really thin like that. And that is how you tell the difference. So thin, skinny line, uh, there's a couple more over here. You can see the skinny lines. And uh, now some of them you get like that, and that's a weird one. It's really hard to read because of the way it's been hogged out of there. Somebody balanced it, and they hogged some stuff out of it. But uh, So don't get confused on that one. But there you go. That is your cast crank. This is your forged crank. So you can tell that difference, okay? I'll take a picture of these two together so that you can kind of, let's do it this way. And even though this is a Chevy, the, the knit line is very similar. So let's go ahead and put these two right next to each other. It's just they happen to be at opposite sides of the shop. That's why I'm kind of doing it this way. But, but you can take a look at the two of them. Fat, forged, skinny, cast. Fat, forged, skinny, cast. Get it? Got it? Good. Well, I know at least one guy out there was waiting for this video so he could order the right parts. So you can call me now. <laughs> you can tell which crank which crank you have. Uh, so that, But that's there for everybody, including the gentleman that needed that information. Uh, hopefully it helped out. Do me a favor. If this was helpful, or you've watched my other videos and you like them, and you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Well, maybe you have your reasons. I don't know. But if you liked them, do me a favor. Subscribe. It helps me out. And uh, like as usual, if you don't like them, don't watch them.